Hi everybody, this is a Jordan Shuan and Beautiful Life. Last week we were interview a Karina, the Russian artist in the two United States, and uh, she introduced her own knife and uh, all her art road. But today I will invite a very special, unique scientist. His name is Dr. Sui Yin Lo. We're we'll talking about science. Hi, Dr. Lo. Hello. Nice to meet you. Welcome to our Zhou uh, Zhenxuan and Beautiful Life. And uh, how long we didn't see you for a long time? I think the last time I saw you in your office, probably a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. You are very so busy. And uh, first, I want to you introduce yourself to our audience. All right. I'm grew up in Hong Kong and studied at University of Chicago to get the PhD in theoretical physics. And I worked in high energy physics for 25 years. Then I am become a university professor in Australia, University of Melbourne. By the time I'm 40, I'm not so well. I start to feel tired. So I go to learn Qigong. That's how I get into and then as soon as the teacher know that I'm a theoretical physics, he said, it's your job to find out why Qigong works. Actually, Qigong has been practiced for thousands of years by millions of people. No one really can explain in modern physics term. So then it's my job. And it's actually very difficult to do it. So I work on it for 20 years. Finally, I got it. And then I wrote a book called Biophysics Basis for Acupuncture and Health. And then a university president saw me and hired me to be the professor of Chinese medicine in research. And so that's how I become uh, totally involved in Chinese medicine. Okay, before we talk about the Qigong or the other, uh, the other things like your products, your healthy products, I w I'm very interested in your working in the Caltech. That's uh, very interesting. Uh, that's how I come back to the United States because I was in Australia and then I invented something called BASA. The Australian government suddenly say it's too important and you're not supposed to tell it anybody. And but finally they release, I come to the US, I get money and get support and then I get uh, to Caltech. And okay. that's how I become there. And then so I actually doing two things. One is true to my form, being a theoretical particle physics, another one is on Chinese medicine. Okay. I know you were to research in that Caltech. Yeah. That's a very best university in the world, institute in the world. Everybody know that, and a lot of the uh, excellent, the great, the uh, scientists yes. that started there and do research there. Like everybody know the Einstein, yeah, they all studied there. And I want to know, you got a lot of PhD, yeah, PhD. That's you are a professional scientist. What made you change your mind to be interested in Qigong and the, right now, SWP, solid water particles? That has to go back to my uh, young bring up in Hong Kong. You know, Hong Kong at the time is a British colony, so I get a big dosage of Western uh, civilization, especially the science and that I got. Another part of get the Chinese medicines, so uh, Chinese civilization. So very young, at eight, 15, age of 15, I already decided to combine the very best in the West to the very best in the East. So the very best I decide theoretical physics. This is the hardest and the pinnacle of Chinese civilizations from my viewpoint. So I learn it. I say learning is not good enough. I got to be practice it. Not only practicing, I actually produce the PhD from there and also do the most difficult research. So I do one of the most difficult research, how to do nuclear fusion 
in a different way. So, and then at the same time, I say I got the truth to my, my upbringing. I got to combine theoretical physics, especially quantum physics, with Chinese medicine to explain Qigong and also Chinese, whole field of Chinese medicine. Okay, yeah. I got your word, quantum. Yeah. Quantum. So you use the quantum, the we, to research the Chinese medicine. That's correct. Okay, but I know your product is that you create your event and created a product they call solid water politics uh, particles. Uh, that's very interesting invention. Actually, I calculate. Without calculation, I could not find it because it's so hard to find it. And finally, I find it. Then I can mass produce it, and I work with UCLA and uh, Caltech and other universities to see that it actually have medical applications. And so that's how the particle comes in. And then I suddenly realized it's so new and so important. Why don't I choose one disease which Western medicine cannot solve? So I choose autism. And in fact, up to now, Western medicine have no idea how it come to be, let alone treating it and preventing it. You healing a lot of the kids to be the normal, or the better, better the severe times than before. Uh, how the water can cure the people's uh, disease, like we call the aut autism. Yes, that's a very interesting question. So it comes to the fundamental of Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine uh, saying that there's two basic concepts that is very important, but it has not been explained in modern uh, physics or modern medicine or modern physiology. I wrote that book to explain both of it, okay? Mm -hmm. And so the number one, I say all the meridians are made up of solid water particles. So suddenly meridian become a materialistic object, just like blood vessel or nerve. In fact, it's more fundamental. So that's, uh, I solved the problem about meridian because I actually use infrared imaging system to take pictures of it. And then the second one is qi. I actually define qi in terms of quantum field theory. Qi become like qi on. People say you can't see it, you can't feel it. So how do you know it exists? I'm just saying that gravity we still can't see gravity, all right? But after Newton solved the gravity, everybody believed it because when you drop, it drop. You don't see anything at attract it, but it's there because we measure it, you have a theory for it. Now chi on chi is like this, the same way, okay? So I basically, in, in 500 years, most of the advance in Chinese medicine is in traditional one. And now it's an attempt to connect with modern medicines. So now I actually make it to become, to connect to the most advanced quantum field theory and the mo one of the most advanced experimental measuring machine like infrared. And I choose one of the most disease, difficult disease that you, you know you met, autism. Autism, say 20 years ago is one in 10,000, 10 years ago is one in 100. Now, is one in 50, is basically increasing at 11%. So, okay, Dr. Lo, uh, when you talk about your products like SWP, or solid water particles, and you see they can preventing disease, or they can healing or cure the, uh, p the orders, or any um, people that were found they have the problem in the body, maybe cancer, maybe heart attack or some problem yes. in the body anywhere all the organs have the problem but if we take this water yes they can help them yes they can pre preventing the disease yes. or occur right yes uh, how you tell your clients yes the people say okay before you have problem maybe this i guess yes. maybe this Right now, you take the water, 
W I、uh, H W P.、Yeah. We say solid water particles. It's W P. They change like this.、Yeah. Healthy. So could you tell me like this? All of this. I want you ex explain the <laughs> a little bit exquisite, exquisite <laughs> explaining to my audience, please. To use it is very easy. The, to understand it is a bit more involved. So when we take picture, everybody know, and we use optical、uh, wave that is visible to our eyes. As the wavelength getting shorter, then become、uh, red. But if it's getting even shorter, that's why I call infrared. Then say below one micron, and then you cannot see it. Then you have to use a different camera to see it, and that's called infrared imaging system.、Mm -hmm. And it can detect the heat wave from your body. So it's a passive device. It's used extensively in in、uh, military as well as in space. We physicists use it to detect the very very far away star, right? Mm -hmm. And now, I use it to detect meridian in、mm. human being. So, I especially use it to choose to do autism because autism is the most difficult disease. And U.S. government actually spend four million dollar、mm -hmm. on the average for each autistic、mm -hmm. children. And I wrote a, one of the most serious article that I I like that say it actually. Detecting, treatment, and prevention of autism,、mm -hmm. and I published in a peer-reviewed article in Chinese medicine. The first time I went to your、uh, your、uh, clinic,、uh, your clinic, your office, even I saw a lot of the picture like yeah. this week. Yes. Yeah.、Uh, so could you a little bit explain how people can take this water? Or even five days a week, people can change the color、yes. uh, through your system in Fred, right? In Fred image the、uh, system, they can change from the red to the green. So red means not healthy, right? Yes. The red not healthy. The how about white? White is the most unhealthy. It's very hot. Unhealthy, right? It's,、uh, about three degree hotter、oh, than normal. What? Maybe some got some、yeah. even their. Some、yeah. like the cancer yeah, or yeah. something. Cancer so all the green one, green is a healthy, right? Or is a red somewhere? That means there is a red. Okay, please, Doctor Lo, a little bit、uh, explain. I I know I want to exquisite explain. Okay. Okay. How the people, how the work, the water, the solid water particles, the work in the body. So, Chinese medicine say there's. Fourteen meridian in the in the body. Fourteen meridian. Okay. That would circulate qi. Jin luo, qi and jin luo. Okay. And then if it's blocked, then you're in trouble. Just like highway, it's a、uh, it floating. The trucks go away to produce、uh, nutrition to every places. If it's blocked, then the nutrition cannot go. Then you're in trouble. All right.、Mm -hmm. So if if have not enough nutrition, your brain your brain doesn't work that well. And then it doesn't work well. It become fever, right?、Mm -hmm. You know, got gotcha. fever. I got it. When fever, then it's hot, and then the infrared camera would show it in white color, so you know you are in fever. All right. Like the autism, the brain is trouble. Everybody knows it doesn't work well. So you see, you see that book. So the the head is white. Okay. That's white.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. But further than that, autism actually have white here. That's a the thyroid area.、Mm -hmm. So if thyroid is not working well, now we know thyroid is control the metabolism. So when、mm -hmm. they are not working well, they cannot active. So that's why they, that's my explanation. That's why they don't look at them because their attention, their thinking is limited. So they only do the minimum possible. So that's why they don't look any bigger because they spend effort.、Mm -hmm. So because their autism, the thyroid is in trouble. And then you see at the bottom, that's、mm -hmm. the intestine, and they most of them their digestive system is not good. Now, after he drink the SWP, then the meridian are unblocked, just like highway. The things are unblocked. The nutrient go everywhere. They have nutrient, then they get well. Now, so actually, in fifteen minutes, 
The one on the left is before they drink the SWP, and the right is after uh, they drink it in 15 minutes. It's dramatic change because I spent 20 years doing that, so all the things are accurate and dramatic. Oh, so you yeah. can see immediately mm -hmm. it changes. Okay, Dr. I want to introduce this uh, how the your product is WP and acupuncture and the chi and the meridian to work together. What's the relationship? What's the difference? Could you explain? Yeah, when the acupuncture put the needle at the right spot, acupunct, then it unblock the meridian so the chi can flow freely. So when qi flow freely, the blood and nutrient will flow with it. So that's the Chinese medicine. But instead of using needles, we drink this, lean water, that have SWP in it, it also unblock the meridian. So then the qi will flow, the all body and everybody. So the water can help your body, your qi, they fluently yes. they flow, right? Correct. Like the same results, like the acupuncture. Correct. They make your chi through, so, so, so your pain, your suffering is gone. Correct. That's my understanding. Yes. So, Dr. Lo, I'm interested in this. Where did you get the passion? Passion yeah. is because I, I'm Chinese, right? Yeah, you're Chinese. And I'm very yeah. proud to suddenly the one of the very best Chinese culture can become the top of the world in scientific. Mm -hmm. Things. That's Chinese medicine in, in terms of SWP, mm -hmm. all right? Another thing is that I myself benefit from doing Qigong. Okay. Right? And I know it works. And if you go to ask people who do it consistently, they all know it works. Okay, so Dr. Lo, if the clients or people get in the bottom of the water, yes. how do they use it? How often do they use it? how much they use it that's very easy you see that's the beauty of it you just drink it like ordinary water all of that yes you can uh, drink it all of that or drink one bottle is like a session of acupuncture so, so okay that's... so right now i can try yes okay let me try so this water the, the bottle but a small bottle of the water how many ounces like uh it's a uh, two two ounces 60 milliliter actually I done it for everybody come to my office. Mm -hmm. They take one set of infrared pictures like that and mm -hmm. drink it. Everybody change in 15 minutes. You know. 15 minutes. I like to do things 100%. Okay. Most medicine are not 100%. Not 100%. This is 100%. So I can take the right yes. away. So right now I'm the uh, before I test of this. So right now I can drink that before your guys. Mmm. That's very, it tasted like a very regular. It's no, no any yeah. test. It's very <laughs> now, I cannot say delicious. I can't, I can't say delicious. <laughs> no, no. So, but when the water go to my body, there will be work. Yes. Could you tell me, give me example. So there's some one client or the one customer, they, before they got a problem, they went to your office that went to your kinetic, but they changed totally changed. Give me the example. So I like to choose something Western medicine are difficult, all right? Okay. That shows it's virtual. So we have one time a 62 years old woman come in and mm -hmm. test it. Okay. He said he didn't tell us very much. He said I just want to uh, test her body. So we did that and we find her heart meridian. You see, heart meridian is mm -hmm. hot. So I say your heart has trouble and he didn't say anything. So I say, you just drink one bottle uh, and test it and immediately it changed, okay? And then I say, you just do it since you're uh, not, uh, not seriously. So one bottle a day for three months and come back, then it's totally gone. It has oh. no, the heart is no longer implanted. You see the meridian is like optical fiber. You look at this, very hot, that means the heart is very hot. It's the heart meridian is like optical fiber and we take it and it's 40 degrees the heart uh, instead of normal 37, there's something wrong with the heart. But we don't need to know what kind of thing make it inflamed. Drink it, the heart become normal. Then she told us, she has faint three times. The last time it was so serious, 
Her husband took it to the emergency hospital and they hold her up for 24 hours and spend $12,000 and dismiss her. Say they couldn't figure out what's wrong with her. And tell them next time when you faint, they go to see again, maybe they can find out. So the husband says, oh, next time we never wake up, okay? So that's why they come to see us. And whenever we see people have heart meridian very hot, mm -hmm. white in white color, that means their heart's in trouble. And as you know, you may have heart attack tomorrow, you don't show anything, okay? Mm -hmm. But we can see it uh, uh, way ahead. And so when the heart is not inflamed, then you will not have heart disease. Mm -hmm. We have many cases like that. Okay, Dr. Lo, uh, before I let you go, I want to ask you, uh, you know, every time I, I've been in your office, I, every time I saw your justice, the study, you do researching in your office. So what's your purpose, your life? So that people are, do not suffer from medicine. You know, most medicine, Western medicine has side effects. So they don't have to have side effect problem. They don't necessarily have to go to hospital. They remain healthy by themselves. And that's uh, very important uh, for the whole world. There's no disease that acupuncture cannot help. And there's basically, so far, there's no disease. This SWP help a little bit, sometimes a lot. Okay. Uh, like the Dr. Lua told us, get rid of the suffering is uh, his purpose of life and a beautiful life. Thank you for watching Zhou Zhenxiu and a beautiful life. Mm -hmm.